right, so this is going to be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, and as well rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading. Uh, January 6th to January 12th, uh, 2020. And uh, if you do want to get in touch with me, guys, for a, a, a personal reading, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below uh, in the description of this video. And, uh, you know, you can purchase yourself a, a personal reading from there. Now, that being said, moving into the spread straight away for your love and relationship week. Now, the first card, which is the topic and the theme of the week, we do have the Five of Cups, followed by the next one here, which stands as the energies which are supporting the topic. We do have the, the Hierophant, pretty serious thing is what we do have here. Afterwards is going to be the challenges that you need to overcome, and that gets even deeper and deeper with the Hermit in that position. Then it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. I mean, look at that, guys. That is going to be the hangman in that particular position. Uh, followed by how people see you, how your friends and family sees you, how your person of interest sees you, how your partner as well see you, husband and wife, and so on and so forth. That is going to be the two of wands. Followed by the uh, sixth card here, it is uh, what is going to help your long-term love and relationship go. That is going to be the Four of Swords. Uh, afterwards, it is, it is what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. This is going to be the Tower. And the last one, it is uh, the guidance that Tarot is offering to you uh, in terms of love and relationship. We do have the King of Wands. All right. So, uh, like said, a pretty, pretty big week. A week where things are going to be made things are going to be broken. It's, uh, it can go really either way. So here in this uh, reading, I'm going to tell you um, the circumstances and the recipe of how to do either of those, uh, what, whichever situation you are finding yourself into. So we do have these two, all right, as a, a topic and a T uh, and energies which are surrounding the topic. So the topic obviously is not a very pleasant card. We do have the Five of Cups. So Five of Cups is about disappointments and it is about losses, emotional losses that is, okay? Uh, you can be uh, rejected, right? For example, you can, you can be once again disappointed, betrayed and so on and so forth. But the thing with the Five of Cups is that those disappointments and losses, they are not definitive. What I mean is that definitely could be forgiveness about it. So they are not as, um, how can I say it, as um, ultimate as possible, like cheating, you know, like, I don't know what to say, you know, like breaking up and these kind of stuff. It is just the ordinary things. And that is uh, supported here by the Hierophant. It is just just the ordinary things, the ordinary behavior that you have tried to get used to, if you will, that you have hoped that that person is going to change on their own accord, if you will, that, you know, you hoped that you're going to once again get used to it or that uh, you're not going to mind it anymore and so on and so forth. So these kind of stuff, they're stacking and stacking and stacking on top of one another. And finally, that bubble bursts. And this week, it is where the bubble bursts. And so the week itself is going to be a week where it's going to be decisive. As this thing can go forward or actually the bubble that bursted, it is way too much to swallow. Uh, the energies themselves are um, showing that you and the person that you are with or that you do have as an interest, you know, uh, you t are going to talk a lot about the future, about yourself about how you are taking on all that, all right? About, you know, how you are to proceed from now on. And um, to be honest with this card, with the Hierophant into that position, definitely a solution can be found in the already existing framework of relationships. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. But yeah, again, it may not be something that you are satisfied with. And again, this is going to be a matter of a personal choice. That's why you are either gonna make it or you're either going to break it and ultimately at the end is going to be 
uh, based on your personal um, decision. Uh, the Hierophant, one way or the other, says that you're going to find the true meaning of love, meaning that either you're going to understand that you love that person no matter what, or you're going to understand that you don't love that person no matter what. So the other card here, it is the Hermit, which is um, the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. So first thing as a challenge, do not take the things emotionally. Do not act emotionally. That is the worst, the worst thing you can do because the Hermit points that is going to be challenging to you to make an, an intelligent and wise decisions. That is because you are going to be uh, blinded or rather like, yeah, blinded, clouded, I would about I, I was about to say, by emotions. And whenever that thing happened, take a deep breath, seclude yourself, if you will, withdraw, if you will, so you can clear your mind and then make a uh, intelligent once again and a wise decision. Because whatever decision you make with the hermit card into that position is going to stay. You, you can't back on it afterwards. Right? So you say we're done, that means you're done. You say we go forward, that means you go forward. Whatever the right direction you decide in favor of is going to be your substantial direction. It's going to be your direction to nurture, moving on forward into uh, the future. Now, the next card refers to the gifts and the blessings that this week is going to offer you in terms of love and relationship. Now, the ha the hangman it's a very peculiar card into this position first of all it does point that your perspective upon things your perspective upon the relationship you have or upon the person you uh, have as an interest in as a suitor all right or upon yourself as well if you are completely single is going to sprout so more things are going to start matter for you um and uh this card points that a certain relationship uh, or a, a way to proceed with a relationship up until now, if it was a futile, it will be a futile no longer. So it's kind of like you're going to see a purpose, a reason, a sense into it, if you will. That is because the gift for you, uh, Cancer, is a new perspective on things. Okay, which is going to stir your emotions, is going to stir your relationship, is going to stir your uh, social life as well, is going to stir your, your private personal life uh, in general. Now, the next card, it is how people see you, how your friends and family sees you, how your person of interest sees you, how your partner sees you, etc., etc. So we do have uh, the two of ones and people were seeing you a bit on edge here with this card. One thing to achieve something, to accomplish something and uh, not sure how to do so, people may lose faith um, into that you're going to do the right thing here with this card. Um, important thing to know with the two of ones, it is what when one when one wants something, one needs to have something else to offer in return. Because people are going to see you as someone who only wants and does not want to give or does not want to give reciprocal. It wants to give only whatever they, you know, kind of like find meaningless for them that they can live without. So people were seeing you not unwilling to do sacrifice for the greater good of your future relationship, of your social circle, you know, of your future love, if you will, of your current love, that is. And for that reason, you have to present yourself a little bit more, um, how can I say it, milder. I don't know how exactly to uh, point it, but that this aggressiveness that people are going to see into your behavior, it could be imposed. What I mean is that that may not be the reality, but it's just how they see you. Right. And uh, especially if your partner sees you that way, they, they are seeing you. It is like you act like you do have the right while the right is mutual. So you have to make a point here throughout this week that you want to work together. That, that it is everything that you need to do in order to overcome the negativity of the two of ones. You need to just, you know, 
um, show or kind of make a note, I don't know how to say it, to show intentions that you are willing to work with this person for the greater good of the future relationship or, uh, you know, of the current relationship, marriage and etc, etc. So the next card, it is uh, what is going to help your long term love and relationship go. We do have the Four of Swords profound, deep conversation with the faithful companion or with your person of interest, with your lover, husband, etc, etc. Also, the Four of Swords is about seeking therapeutic professional help. Strongly suggested here because we do have as well the Hierophant into the energies of the reading. So if you really cannot find a common ground which is suggested by the Hierophant, then probably you really need to go and see a couple therapists. That is, if, uh, you know, the person that you want to do it with is agreed to or agreed upon. If they aren't, that at least to me would have mean that they are not willing to put the effort behind. So pretty much it is they have made the decision for you to break it. Uh, the next card, it is uh, what is going to hurt your long-term and relationship goal, your long-term love and relationship goal. We do have the um, Tower card. So this card points to um, being like a hurricane, I don't know how to say it, where you uh, bring down everything around you, showing how furious you are, being a cauldron of rage, if you will, I, and, and, and kind of like, you know, without even caring, uh, hurting people left and right. And it is, that's why it's very important to be intelligent and wise when you speak and when you take decisions throughout this week in, in terms of uh, relationship. Okay, and in terms of social circle as well. The tower card as well points that there could be third party involved from your side. It's kind of like you may have a crush, especially if you are married right now. Uh, this is going to be obviously very, very dangerous because this is what the tower presents if you are uh, kind of like if you are in this particular narrative. And it could be as well uh, if you are single, you may have a crush throughout this week, but it is important to identify is this crush real? I mean, uh, is it based on real emotions or is it based on just passion and yearning? Because as we saw as a topic, you are to be disappointed. You are to suffer a certain loss. And are you have what it takes to overcome that disappointment? As we saw, it's not going to be something substantial. Well, that depends once again on you. And uh, the final card here, it's, it is about the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Cancer, in terms of love and relationship. So we do have uh, the uh, King of Wands. King of Wands in this narrative, it really tells us only one thing to enjoy life the way you uh, you can do it. What I mean is the way you uh, find fit for yourself. So go out, party, spend time with friends, laugh, you know, uh, in, involve yourself into exhilarating uh, enterprises and endeavors and so on and so forth. So people can see uh, how much passion can sprinkle from you and from one or another reason, you know, it could reverse an, an opinion into uh, your partner or into your person of interest that at the end of the day, you know, you can be the person they want uh, in case they kind of like are trying, uh, are starting to give up hope on whatever you can have or you do have right now as a, a mutual thing. So that being said, uh, Cancer, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, January 6th to January 12th, 2020. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, uh, once again, if you do want uh, to get in touch with me for a, a private reading, you can check out the description down below. And there you're gonna find the link to my website and uh, we're gonna see each other around, I hope. Until then. Bye.